All right, so this is the case type that we have right now, right? Um, and you might have uh, basically noticed that when we added the flow, okay, um, we added this collect information. We did not add it multi form, okay? So what is this multi form uh, or multi step? This uh, basically multi step form. What exactly these things are? So that's what we are going to discuss today, okay? In this session. So to summarize that, oh, sorry, to uh, basically get it that is started, let's try to understand the process types in Pega. Okay, so this is the process, right? This is a process, the flow. This is also a flow process. Okay, in Pega, we have two type of flows, process types are basically flows. We have two type of flows. One is called uh, normal process flow. That is basically process flow. Another one is called screen flow. Okay, process flow and screen flow. Now, what exactly are those? A screen flow is actually nothing but multi step form. It's a multi step form and which is supposed to be completed by one user only. No routing, right? So, what does that mean? When we have multiple forms, multiple forms to be submitted by one user itself. For example, when you are applying for a job, you have multiple forms to submit at once before you submit your application. Your personal detail, one form. Your address detail, another form. Your um, experience, another form. Ed education, another form. Right. So that kind of uh, when you have multiple forms to be submitted one after another. And then you, once you reach to the last form, your your final application gets submitted. That's what we develop using a screen flow. Process flow is the normal flow, basically normal way of normal flows, where we have routing and any other advanced shape. They all are supported. So if you look at this, this one is a process flow see in the in the multi-step form you will not see these options you will only see form option okay you will not see approved reject these things because these needs routing if i add a process uh, multi-form see this will create a new process and here the only option i have is add form step form step form step no other option in the normal flow i have all these options so how do we know this is a process form or multi form, oh, sorry, process flow or a screen flow. So open the flow. And on the flow, you go to this design tab and you see the category. The standard flow is the process flow. Okay. This is called flow standard. That's the category for this. Flow standard. Right. And when I create a multi step, I'm going to remove this at the moment, this form, and this is two. And I'm going to add a multi step form. Okay. Uh, multi step form. The first one is I'm going to ask uh, basically about the customer thing. Okay. So that is going to be customer info. Second form I'm going to have is for address. Okay, this is multi step form address details. Okay, these two forms only. I'll ask you guys to add a few more additional things. Okay, let's save it now. This will create this submission uh, flow. Now, this is remember we added multi step form. So, this is a process, this is a screen flow. Let's open this and see if you look at this design, it is a screen flow, right? It's a screen flow. A screen flow if you look at the diagram okay it still have multiple uh, basically assignment these are all assignment but okay let me show you the normal flow as well as the screen flow together so this is the screen flow that we have opened so far and uh, application submission this one was 
the process flow i believe yeah this is process flow okay right yeah this is process flow let's find the difference here you all know that this green icon is for the assignment this is the screen flow see on the screen flow if you see here this is flow action is directly configured on the flow on the on the shape itself okay on this green shape the assignment shape whereas on the normal flow the standard flow we have routing information on this see who it is going to be assigned to and this the flow action is configured on the connector in the normal flow flow action is connected uh, configured on the connector but in the screen flow because there is no routing requirement it has it is supposed to be executed by the same user who is initiating that there isn't any uh, routing information instead we have the uh, action flow flow action directly and the and this one just has basically a, a title i mean a label the connector has just the label okay see we can still add some advanced shape from the back end when you open the process designer which is otherwise not possible from the case designer okay it is still needs to have the flow action it is still needs to have the section everything else is same it's just that on the case designer you cannot add any other shape other than the form step and you do not need routing information here see no routing information needs to be provided here because it is supposed to be the user who submitted the last one or whoever is the current user they will have to use it uh, they will have to complete it how does it look like so we have the customer info i'm going to use the same flow action that we earlier has for the submit loan application and for the address detail i'm going to create a new flow action create an open address detail and i'm going to you create a new empty section to create an open save it save it and now let's save sorry this one let's save this one too so now it has all the flow flow action the draft mode on means if some rule is missing then it will still let you save use those flow actions and sections were missing right now we have created let's switch off the draft mode and try to save it it will give error if something is not right so now we have you can refresh it we have two step form two forms there okay customer info and address detail in the customer info we have used the existing one the earlier one flow action so the same form will be displayed let's see see now this is coming as two step process customer info address detail these two you can navigate back and forth we don't have added we have haven't added anything there so customer info and address detail you can continue here remember okay sorry uh that new customer should have something that's the problem let me create it another we're trying to save it okay we'll say false c1 we're still using the same flow action and section here okay i can continue to go back and forth on this step and these forms or i can restrict that i can restrict that too okay how do we do that uh, basically if you open the process one second I just uh okay so this is the flow this is the screen flow good now let's come back to that now on this customer info this is the step this is the step okay good diagram customer info see enable navigation link that is enabled so this is the navigation link okay uh, if i disable that let's say i disabled it on the customer info 
and I disabled it on the address too and submitted it then when I ref let me just do it once or do I have to create a new case I think I'll have to create a new case let me okay I've saved it see those navigations are not there right continue I can still continue to okay sorry I needed to submit that uh, customer ID is needed so this has to be mandatory actually we'll say false c1 so I still will continue then I'll go to the next form address only and uh, we can continue from there okay but that navigation is not available now if i just check this again enable navigation then only navigate back to this step or only allow navigation back to this step only you can go back you cannot move forward okay but we will want it both ways so let it be both ways enable navigation both ways okay let's create a new one loan application so navigation is back now false c1 so at the moment i can go back and forth from the navigation link right and you can have multiple forms there okay now address actually let's create a section for address we will create a property so there is out of the box we created the customer and all that right there are a lot of out of the box basically classes that we can use for example data hyphen address hyphen postal now this is for the postal address right it has all the properties that is needed for the postal address so instead of creating our own class for these i can actually reuse that so i'm going to create uh, basically a section here in this class data address postal to show the address just like how we did it for the customer so address On the data designer we were you earlier able to if i convert that then only okay so let's add text input for a straight i will add a minimum one only text input for city these two i will add you will you guys will have to add all of these so street Sorry, not a state, the street and uh, city. Now, in order to use it in the work class, you remember we needed to either have data page or some property for that of this class. So, we have used for the customer, we earlier tried with, um, we first tried with the property. And later we switch to the data page for the address we will just use the property only so i'm going to create a new property address page property of course in the work class and it will be of type page the definition is data address postal Right, so on the main section under this, we have the address detail section, right? For that new flow action, I'm going to embed that section from the postal class. So this is again going to be a clipboard page. Seconds hung. clipboard page the page name is we created address right address the class is data admin sorry data address postal the address 
and the section we created is address okay but remember this will not show up because it's the property the page clipboard uh, should have that address property so we will have to initialize that we did that as well earlier for the customer so we have set field default for that and we will initialize dot address dot one property on that maybe pyct to null that will initialize that page and now if i create a new case submit loan application false c1 and i continue the address detail will come i can enter that and submit it so this is called multi form multi step form you can add as many form as you want like this remember the assignment will not end until you complete the final form then it will move to the next stage okay this is very useful when we are submitting multiple forms um, multiple form, we have huge forms to be submitted and we can categorize them into multiple form for the ease of the user this is one of the approach that we follow so this uh, demo basically concludes um, screen flow and process flow and how to configure them this is about multi-step form and configuration of multi-step form and the comparison between the multi-step form and the normal submit application form or submit uh, basically collect information form and it ends here